This bloke, uh, Nelson Sardelli, uh, is one of the most versatile showmen in the business. Besides being an old friend of mine, uh, one of the first people I ever had the chance to make acquaintance. Actually, I made acquaintance with him in Australia, and then we became friends. Uh, he's a star in Las Vegas. He's a star in the revitalized Atlantic City in America, which is uh, taking over and really giving a challenge to the gambling capital of Las Vegas. Uh, Nelson's whole career has been revived over there, and he's really packing him in. He's, uh, making, <laughs> he's making appearances here. Back, he's back in Australia to perform. You can see him at South Sydney Juniors for the next three weeks. When he's around, you never know what's going to happen. We're going to do a little something later together. In the meantime, he's going to do a beautiful song for you. This is Willie Nelson, right? Willie Nelson song. You are always on my mind. Please greet Nelson Sardelli. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I didn't love you Quite as often as I could have Maybe I didn't treat you Quite as good as I should have If I made you feel second best Girl, I'm sorry I was blind You were always on my mind You were always on my mind Maybe I didn't hold you All those lonely, lonely times and I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time and I give me give me one more chance to keep you satisfied satisfied maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely lonely times Yes, I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time
yes, yes. I see you've, uh, you've I need even... sleep. I need sleep, Don. What's the matter? I mean, you know, I, I just got in. You know, it's been uh, 42 hours in a plane, airport. I, I'm really, really out of it. You look all right. I look, I mean, I'm beautiful, but I'm tired. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Right. Have you learned to speak English no, yet? Doesn't it? No, no, yeah. no, no. I paid an, uh, an instructor to keep me this way. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I was telling people about, you said your career was revitalized because of Atlantic City. Yes. Uh, it's amazing what's happened in the United States for people that may not know. Right. Las Vegas used to be the entertainment center. Well, Las Vegas shall always be the Vatican. Let's not kid ourselves as far as the entertainment, you know, capital of the world is concerned. But now, see, we are no longer the, the only game in town. Yeah. So I think we're going through a little uh, painful transition, that's about all, because, you yeah. know, for all of a sudden, it's not the way it was. But uh, in a little while, it will be yeah. right there. It will be great, because now there will be two places, you know. So you have the songs about uh, on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. Well, that's now you're right. there, right, all yeah, the time. That's all right. the I'm, I'm singing a song in the show that is called Atlantic City. It's very, very yeah. good. It's the only good one you Are think. you a happy person now, Nelson? Very happy. Very happy because, uh, like, uh, you know, I said, uh, it happened to me in, in a beautiful way. They... Do they, those guys still run uh, Atlantic City? Uh... No, no. The guys no, are no. out of the place. Yeah, no. You don't have any of those guys tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I used to know all those guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, kid, come here. You know, yeah. those guys say, hey, you with the broken nose, sing night and day. I said, I don't have a broken nose. Hey, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Yeah. Your daughter. Tell me about your daughter. She's here. I want yes. to tell me who's what she's. She's uh, Miss Nevada. She's Miss Nevada State uh, Fair. Yeah, that, Nelson Sardelli's daughter. That's that lovely redheaded girl right there. Yeah, say hello to her. Well, yeah, she's over here visiting with Nelson. There you go. Yeah, we'll say hello. Give her a hello. hello. Say hello. <laughs> so. Stories. I want stories. What do you mean? What, what kind of stories? You I want you? stories. You always give me stories. Well, I, I was watching the snakes from back there. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, I'm, I was born in Brazil, but talk about snakes, and I'm glad you put me way on the other side. Yes. And I was way... <laughs> but this guy was drunk in Brazil. See, Brazil, we got big snakes. But it's important mm. people to know that in Brazil, the, the language is Portuguese. Right. Brazilians speak Portuguese. And in Portuguese, when you're drunk, you're bebado. Bebado. It's important that you know what I'm talking about or else this thing won't mean anything to you. Bebado. B-E-B-A-D-O. Bebado. In other words, you're drunk, you're bebado. Eh? Mm. So this guy is drunk in Brazil. Eh? He's walking. And, and, and he's walking and, and he hears a voice that says, Bebado! <laughs> but he doesn't look because he's got a lot of dignity. <laughs> and he's walking and the voice goes, Bebado! Bebado! <laughs> and he's bugging him, but he keeps walking. And the voice goes, Bebado! <laughs> I start looking here and he sees nothing. And he looks here and he sees nothing. He says, Bebado! He looks up, nothing. He looks down, it's a snake. <laughs> he says, Now look at here, you overgrown lizard. <laughs> Don't you call me snake, uh, Bebado. <laughs> Keep walking. The snake goes, chuk, chuk. Bebado! He says, Look at here. Don't you call me Bebado. You call me Bebado one more time. I'll turn you inside out. <laughs> the snake looked at him and says, Bebado! <laughs> he got down there, put his hand all the way in her mouth and <laughs> turned her inside out. She looked at him and says, Do babe! <laughs> one more, do Italian. Huh? Italian. The best Italian. An Italian one. one. Oh, I gotta tell you one that is even nice. <laughs> See? We have a song to do. They're worried about time, but I want to hear one more story before we do. I got to. Okay. I got to tell you, this is good. This is Italian guy. See, Italians, you know, we think of lovers, you know. Mm. You know. I don't think, you know, we know nothing special. No, I, well. I believe that Jewish people have much more trust in their love making than we do. Why is that? Because they cut off two inches before they know how big it's going to get. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> very, very, very delicately put, that I might say. Yes, might as well. Might as well. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, yeah, I, I believe in spread out knowledge here. Yeah. So this guy, <laughs> this guy is, is Italian, and he's, he's got no car. But he, and he got this girl, take her out to walk, you know? And he's got plans for her. Yeah. But, you know, and she's been putting all kinds of defense. And they're going and walking. It's a dark very hot night and they walk and he's looking for darker play, darkest places, nothing, nothing. So finally they go by this abandoned cemetery. 
and the gate is open. And he pulled her inside and he looks around and there is a tomb. Should be tomb, T-O-M-B, tomb, but it's a tomb. 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 And it's made out of marble. See, like this, marble is always cool, even on a hot night. So he talks, he look at her, says, come here. I make love to you here. She says, no, you're crazy. She says, come on, nobody's looking. They're all dead. <laughs> so he talks her. He talks her into making love. And, and they make love in the tomb. And they go home. Next morning, she wakes up, and her back is killing her. Her back, her back is killing her. And she's got to go to a doctor. She goes to the doctor. She says, doctor, what's wrong with my back? And the doctor checks her out. She says, nothing wrong with your back. But your ass died in 1912. <laughs> I don't believe you took that. You, you crazy or something. Come on over here. Hold on, no. Come on, come on. Here, wait, give me this. Hand.